as you as you can tell from my clothing, it's still the same night. It's past nine o'clock. I'm still going strong for my movies. And um, we are on X2 X-Men United of the X-Men series review. I legit just got done uploading the first one, and you've most likely already seen it by the time this goes up. So here we are, talking about one of my, not only one of my favorite superhero sequels of all time, I actually think X2 X-Men United is one of the best superhero movies of all time. Let's get into it. Um, X-Men, X2 X-Men United takes some stuff that can be cheesy out of the first one, and it still can be cheesy sometimes, um, but it puts in a much more darker tone, and it's awesome. Um, let's talk about the good. Again, all the acting, fantastic. I already mentioned pretty much all of it in my first X-Men review. So if you know how much I feel about it, and I love the acting, um, how much I love the act, I believe it's about the rain, um, 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 go check out my first X-Men review, because I flow about the acting. So we're just going to skip all that. Um, um, I really like the opening scene. The opening scene of how they use all the heroes in this movie, I love how they go deeper into um, Wolverine's past. Because in this movie, you see a lot of flashbacks of him. Um, you see some great, um, like, um, you see flashbacks. You you get more psychological stuff for him. Um, and I love the way that they use Nightcrawler in this movie. The opening scene of this movie with Nightcrawler in the White House. Sorry about my dog's bug when they're both the rain. Um, but the opening scene of um, Nightcrawler in the White House amazing phenomenal stuff the music that's playing is awesome um the like the house fight um um the uh, scene where pyro um is like flaming at all the cars and they're flowing away the lady deathstrike versus wolverine fight probably my favorite x-men fight of all time most likely um, it's amazing and then yeah a bunch more final fights everything is going down um, and yeah, um, so all the action acting is really awesome, fantastic, 10 out of 10 for that stuff. Um, and I like how they introduce more into Iceman and Pyro, because you only get to see, like, a jokey scene with Pyro in the first one. Um, and Iceman is only in, like, a couple scenes of the original, not a big role, but here, he's much more pushed in the movie, um, and the way that there's, like, a romance going between him and Rogue, um, really cool stuff. Um, and I really, um, like how, um, like, some of the X-Men are captured, but, like, in the scene, like, the stu stuff creeps me out in this movie, like, um, of how Stryker's son getting into, um, Charles, Charles' mind creeps me out, but it's still pretty awesome, um, and Stryker in this movie is a great villain, really good villain, um, of how he was like the but like of how Wolverine doesn't remember that who Striker was, but Striker does, and he's like, "Oh, you look just the same," um, and he's like talking about his past and of how his mind, Wolverine's mind, so like clicking for the past and stuff like that, even though he can't really remember anything. Um, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, and there's a ton of great like superhero moments in the movie like the scene well she's kind of a super villain anti kind of um the scene where magneto magneto god the scene where uh mystique um like um well you think it's wolverine but it turns out to be mystique and she's like kicking the guards around and she like um closes the door and flips the guards off awesome stuff um and yeah it's great stuff my only complaint nitpick stuff um with X2 X-Men United is of how Cyclops is pushed back. He's pushed back and really until the third act. He's in a couple scenes with Jean Grey, and yes, some of those lines can be cheesy, like, I would never let anything happen to you. It's giving me Twilight flashbacks. <laughs> oh, God. Um, by the way, my friend's never seen the Twilight movies. If you want me to, like, bring them over here and torture them with them, I definitely will. Yeah, um, um, but yeah, um, but he's kind of, he's just pushed back to really the third act. He's not really any of the second act at all, but, um, the, the, uh, the ending of the movie is very heartfelt and emotional. 
Um, and yeah, overall, guys, I freaking love X2 X Men United. I think it's one of the best superhero movies I've made in my top five, maybe, superhero sequels of all time. I'm gonna give this movie an A. I love this movie a lot. Share, comment, like, and subscribe, and tell me down below what your thoughts on the film is.